Okay, everyone, this is Eric again out in Stockton, California. Um, thank you for tuning in to my channel today. Um, as you see, I have my 2018 Polaris Slingshot S model, and um, we're going to do a little uh, modifications to it today. Add a few parts that I told you I already had in the previous video, and uh, there's a few other items that you haven't seen. Um, so they will be installed in a out of sequence order just because uh, they're simpler to do right now and uh, I'm working by myself. So anyway guys, let me go show you a quick review of, of the parts that we just purchased and um, I'm gonna pause it for a second, we'll do that. Okay guys, we're back. As you see here, this part here is the rear uh, belt guard for the rear tire. Um, you know, the one that's on there is just plain black. And uh, you know, my thing that I got going on on my bike is uh, red and black. So I decided I was just gonna change this up a little bit, so I purchased another one. Also, if you notice here, the front grill um, is black on a slingshot. Uh, it doesn't matter, I don't think it matter what color you get, I think it's still black. Um, again, I didn't repaint these, I just bought new pieces. So, and these are some armrest pads that I had custom made through uh, slingmods.com. I think it's a tough skin product, but um, yeah, so you can have any any words, anything put on there, family name, kid, your name, car club, whatever. Uh, Showtime, that's what I used to do with my old car. Um, car that I had, and uh, it was a show car. So anyway, I no longer have that, this is a new one. So this is new Showtime. And as you see here, of course you know I love carbon fiber. So this piece here actually goes around by the rear uh, camera at the back of the slingshot. So we'll be installing that. And as you see, I have uh, another tough skin product that was sold through uh, slingmods.com, and it's uh, the gauge bezels. And uh, you know they're just normal plastic you looking at on the slingshot. Uh, I decided to make it red, get a little pop of color inside. And of course, there's a um, aluminum, a solid aluminum. Um, painted uh, gas cap for the slingshot also, which will match the carbon fiber to black very well. All right, guys, we're gonna get as much of this installed as possible today. I don't think I'm gonna mess with the front guard because I really need my son here to do that. Um, he can get down there easier and do that stuff. So anyway, we're gonna do what we can do and we're gonna move on. All right, I'm gonna pause up now so I can set up the camera. All right. Okay, guys, as you see, we're at the rear of the slingshot. This black plastic piece that you see here, that is the belt guard that I was talking about. That's the new red piece that I have um, for my slingshot. I think I'll actually uh, highlight the rear end, add a little pop of color to it also. And um, as you see, the lower grill down here, which is uh, stock black, uh, the red will be there also. That's not going to happen today. It's uh, I'm going to have my son help me with that. So we'll get we'll get done and uh, we'll keep it moving. Okay, guys, just a quick one for you to see there. I'll just see what a uh, stock piece looks like. Black. This is the new red piece. Pop the color. That's what I'm looking for. There's only two screws that actually holds that on, and I'm using a T5. Excuse me. Uh, five millimeter hex screw, uh, hex uh, shaft, and there's only two bolts that go here, here, and here. So that'll be what I'm taking off. Just for sake of uh, time in uh, shorting this video, I'm going to pause this because it's very simple. It's only two screws. Okay guys, as you can see here, here's the belt guard. That's the original black one. It looked like it got a little comfortable with the shoes and everything off. Yeah, I am comfortable. Anyway, here's the belt guard. And if you've never seen your uh, swing shot without the belt guard on, there you go. That's what you got. So I'm going to lay this to the ground real quick. Uh, but I do stand corrected. I tell you, there was only two bolts. One at the top, one at the bottom one at the top 
course, there's always one hidden bolt somewhere. And that's a little hidden one there. Uh, that took a 4.5 millimeter uh, hex, but you need to have like a short shaft. The long, long shaft is gonna be very difficult. You only have to turn it like less than a half a turn per, uh, per side. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this on here. And let you see what it looks like. By the way, this part is an actual uh, Polaris slingshot part. It's an OEM part. Uh, you can get them in various colors. Okay, let me step back. All right, guys, what you think? Went from the black to the red. I'm gonna pause this video up just so I can put that last screw in. It's gonna take a couple minutes. Okay guys, and just like that, voila. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. All right, the next modification that we're gonna do, all right, it's a small one real quick. I'm just gonna, uh, I have uh, some name seals that are gonna go here. As you can see, it's a showtime. These pieces here, if I have it directly, and I have it backwards. This is the wrong one. You can have these cut into scripts or whatever you want to say. It can be a word, uh, or you can just have it, no word at all. Just have it like two-tone, whatever colors. Uh, there's a multitude of colors that you can have done. And as you see here, when this is installed this way, it actually goes like this here. And that looks hella good, because the first time I've actually seen that. So anyway guys, that's gonna be real quick. This is just a pill and stick type deal. And it has some kind of foam. I don't know if you can see this very well or not. It, uh, some kind of foam, and it's like a laser cut. And uh, so the lettering is perfect. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on save time. It's just a pillow stick. Very simple to figure out. Okay, guys. Now I'll finish it. Just a little teaser. Bye. Okay, guys. Without further ado. All right. Let's go walk around and uh, check out this armrest pillar. Pillars. Let's see what you think of this. Alright. As you see, they come as a set. They're gonna be cut for the left side and the right side. It's impossible to mess them up. But uh to put them on straight. Very simple. Just take your time, put them on. Very sticky adhesive that goes on. You want to use the alcohol prep pad behind uh on the on the stock plastic of the slingshot. And uh, you know, just a way to show off you like if you got a car club somebody that you ride with or whatever uh, slingshot club or whatever or represent your city uh, that's one way to do it I think those those pads I was I think it was like uh, I want to say 79 bucks if you would have got it without lettering but with lettering it was like $40 more so like 130 bucks a little pricey uh, but I got what I wanted so anyway um, let's move on to the next mod and that's gonna be, uh, I think we're gonna do that gas cap. So we're gonna make that keep it quick, keep it simple. Okay guys, as you can see, this is a billet aluminum uh, cap. I think it's from Billet Specialties, but it's, I uh, purchased it through uh, the Sling Mods. 
Facebook.com website. I think this was like uh, 59 bucks, uh, 59 bucks. But uh, again, it's uh, one of those little touches. Let's go ahead and get some salt. Okay guys, as you see, stock slingshot, gas cap, of course with those gorgeous carbon fiber humps that we put back here. That's stock, and that's what we're going with. Let me swap this out, it's very simple. Okay guys, I did omit one step. It's not just simply a screw in on this gas cap. There's no, um, there's no rubber gasket or anything to seal the fuel in. You will be re reinstalling your uh, original rubber. I hope you can see that, the rubber gasket inside. The instructions simply say, I'm just gonna pause it for a second. You can read it yourself. If the wind cooperates. You're just gonna pop it out with a flathead screwdriver. Pull the gasket out and simply reinstall another one. So let's just hope it's that simple. All right, give me a minute, we'll do that. Okay guys, it worked exactly as it showed. Pry this piece. I actually pried around instead of going for the center. You can do whatever you like. It was two seconds to get it off anyway. There's a disc, what you're looking at. Here's a piece. And that's the piece back in there. And literally, you have a nut and a washer that goes there that locks that piece in. And if you noticed before, there was a screw hole down there. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that up and uh, you get the basic idea of that. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. All right, here we go. Small touch, total package. I wish I had some sunlight, you can see this uh, red just glistening off the carbon fiber. Bill of aluminum, where the stock piece was plastic. It did its job. Aluminum actually weighs more, but uh, whatever. Let me try to, uh, just come in again so you can see that. This is how it looks, it's carbon hoops. I was gonna wash that out, but anyway, guys, that's that. Uh, let me pause and see what else we got in the in the works. Okay, you guys, it's the gauge rings, stock back here. Now, okay, guys, this is the stock bezels. If you can see past the sun, and this is what I'm replacing it with. I'm attempting to. Now, problem might be, as you can see, I already put a carbon fiber overlay here. Uh, I don't know if this is meant to work together. Uh, we will find out in a second. Okay, hang on. Bye. Okay, guys, I hope you can see this. Uh, the red is what I just put on, and that was the stock chrome, uh, plastic chrome, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I hope you can see it through the glare, but um, yeah, that red really pops. And uh, as you see, I got my other accents here, the red going on inside the bike. So yeah, well worth it, well worth it, I love that. Let me go ahead and put the other side on, I'm gonna pause it. Okay guys, there you go. That's the new gauge, overlays. This uh, double-sided tape, I think maybe like 3M tape. Um, it's a vinyl material. Um, very, very nice. Sorry if you can't see that very well. I've adjusted the steering wheel to the best position that I can see it. So anyway, that's what we got there. Very nice addition to uh, give a little, little touch of pizzazz. All right, I'm gonna pause up. We're gonna go for that one last piece today. Okay guys, and the final thing we're gonna install today is this rear end garnish, rear tail end garnish. I hope you can see this. 
uh, if you're looking at the back of your slingshot, here's a piece that goes here, all the way across here and here. As you see, it's just black plastic from the factory. And um, we can do a little better than that because I got carbon fiber. Eventually, this rear pan that you see back here, I will have the carbon fiber panel for that piece there too. Hella pricey, but you only live once. All right, let me go ahead and put this piece on. And uh, so pretty much the same uh, drill. Just gotta clean this up here, uh, wash it off, wipe it off a little bit, uh, alcohol prep pad, and go ahead and apply the um, ap apple cake, the carbon fiber apple cake. All right, hang tight, catch you now. Okay guys, just a view of it um, out of the clear packaging. Hoping that the carbon actually picks up that you can see it. This is very beautiful. It's real carbon fiber, but this is an overlay, so it's not a solid piece. And that's through Tough Skins, uh, sold by slingmodge.com, just the part number. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed for you. Okay guys, here's that rear carbon fiber app applique. I hope you can see it. I'm gonna move the bike so you can see it. Cause this is killer. That is a finishing touch there, that is bad ass. I hope you can see it very well. Because if it wasn't in the sun, you'd definitely be seeing it from the rear. Cause it's in your face and the carbon, I mean that carbon just looks, it looks, hella tight okay oh also guys in case you're wondering this piece right here is missing it's not technically missing uh when i got the bike hell it actually fell off i replaced it and uh that's where your rear your rear camera goes and this is a s model so this bike didn't uh, didn't come with a camera um i have the camera to go there but i just never put it on uh well i didn't have it put on when i had the stereo put in so anyway here's a replacement piece Bought it from uh, uh, the Slingshot dealer up in Elk Grove, Elk Grove Power Sports. It just goes here. But I am putting a camera in at some point. Actually, I have the camera. It's in the, it's in the house. Uh, I don't know how to put it on. Put it in, so I'm going to have someone else do it. Stereo shop or whatever. But that's where it goes. And uh, I do have a carbon fiber applique that matches this exactly. Let me pause and I'll show you. And there's the applicator that goes to that. Just this piece here. And uh, of course this isn't snapped in because I don't want to put it in because I don't have the camera in. So this is coming back off until uh, I'm ready for the camera. Okay guys, I'm gonna go walk around. Uh, pause for a second, I'm gonna walk around and give you my final thoughts. And uh, let you see the final finished product. This is what we're doing for the day and that's a wrap. Okay guys. I turned the bike around so uh, hopefully you can see the carbon a little better as it comes around here, here, here. It's just that finishing touch. And again, that panel is going to be carbon. All right, let me hit this side of the bike. So the part we got today, the belt guard. I'm just gonna walk around. Give you one last pan. Brings us up to the interior part that we did today. That's the armrest. As you see, showtime. Very nice. And the carbon is everywhere. Much more carbon to go. 
thought it was about finished. But no. There will be more. Hey guys. There's a red overlay. Badass, huh? And the gas cap. There's the gas cap and the carbon. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. And as always, uh, thank the Lord for this day. And I hope you and your family are blessed, safe, and have contentment and fulfillment in your life. This is Eric from Stockton out. You have a great day. Stay stay tuned for the next installment of a. Uh, Whatever we decide to do with this slingshot. And of course, the top is going to be put on soon. I have the top in the house. That's going to be the killer part. Okay, guys. God bless. Take care. See you later.